Welcome back to another The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and I'm continuing on my pistols. And in this video, I'm going over doll pistols. Doll pistols, like all doll guns, are sent around burst fire, typically low recoil, and uh, pretty overall decent stats. The first one we have to go over is the Blowfly, which is a corrosive-only doll pistol. That might remind you of something. Now, here when you look at it, you have slightly reduced damage. You have reduced accuracy, but a better corrode chance. So the bowfly, I'm going to shoot at the wall, folks. Actually, I kind of work out to shoot at the floor first. So you see, as I shoot at the floor, there is splash damage on this thing. So now it should definitely be reminding you of the Hornet. And like the Hornet, it's not the most accurate. But uh, the Hornet had better stats compared to other doll pistols in my memory. Now the splash damage would make this very effective. But we remain to have the problem of... There's just not a lot of corrosive enemies in this game. So here you got 38.53. So it definitely does a lot more damage. The burst here is 7 compared to a burst fire of 4. So you have a bigger burst, you have splash damage. Uh, the reduced damage and accuracy isn't that big of a deal, but one of the nice things about battle guns is the ability to keep tight groups and crit with them, which the bowfly loses that, but I mean, I'll, I'll take that. It's just the fact that this gun this gun. Uh, the problem with this gun is the game did not give us a lot of corrosive enemies and it buffed the hell out of shields in UVHM which resist corrosive making this thing not that appealing to use and the Hornet was an incredibly popular gun in Borderlands 2. A lot of people even said it's their favorite gun because there was so much armor in the game. Now there are a lot of armored bosses so that helps this thing but um, I don't know. It's just kind of no hornet. And, yeah. I'm going to kind of shoot it here so you guys can see a fire pattern a little better. So you can see as it travels, it kind of has that wiggling effect. And somewhere it was reading that. Let's see, let's do this again. Is there bullet decals there? Wanna get a good look at the bullet decals at a distance here, but uh nothing seems to be playing nice with that. I don't want to burst, I just want a single shot bullet decal. And of course that's not gonna play nice either, so. Let's go way back as far as we can, shoot at that floor. And it's only one. Uh, it was, someone was kind of trying to tell me this had a, a split, but uh, I'm not seeing it with the decals. But uh, either way, this thing pops out a good amount of damage. It's just the kind of sad fact that, uh, once again, there's not enough corrosive enemies, and there's a lot of kind of corrosive-only guns. Uh, I've kind of covered that with some shotguns and you know, some other kinds. But at least they kind of change it up the way the bullets fly with that bow fly, and they look cool. Now, next we have the Gwen's head is back, the Gwen's other head. And the Gwen's head was a pretty good gun in Borderlands 2. It wasn't fantastic, and... You might notice something a little strange here. It says times two and I have an accessory. So the Gwen's head in this game is always times two, which is very odd. 
So if you get two times two accessory, if you get a double accessory on here, it'll be times three, but it'll be four ammo, not three ammo, which is kind of lame. Because uh, the double accessory doubles your ammo consumption, but doubling your ammo consumption for just one, pardon me, extra bullet is not that cool. So the reason I don't like this, as you can see there, uh, let me get to the wall here. See where the bullets are? The bullets that go to your left are rarely going to actually crit. So the times two doesn't help this thing. The Gwen's head has a Hyperion barrel, which gives it a critical hit bonus. But because those bullets shoot off to the left, they rarely actually hit. And you're just throwing away ammo with this thing. This thing is an ammo hog. And if you are unlucky enough to get one with a double accessory, then you're using four, four ammo per shot. And the burst here, that's a big ass burst. Uh, seven shots. So I just use 14 ammo. Now, if I have two times two accessories on this thing, essentially, that will be four ammo per shot with a seven round burst of 28 ammo a burst. That means two bursts per magazine. That's terrible. Um, yeah. I think they kind of ruined this gun, and it's kind of sad. They brought back a pretty solid gun, and they kind of fucked it. Because of the way it shoots there, and the advantage of this gun is you get a big burst with low recoil. You can land a lot of them on crit, and it's got an extra critical hit bonus. That should be the whole point of the gun. Seven round burst, a gun from seven, get it? But no, with the split, you're just throwing ammo away, and uh, this thing chews through it like there's no tomorrow. I mean, if you go Nisha with double up, forget it. You're, you're out of ammo in no time. With the fire rate off burst, this thing is ridiculous. Of course, then you don't have the burst, and it's even worse. Because uh, you can't hold down the triggers of these. They're like Jacob's. You see here, hip firing, it's kind of inaccurate. It's all over the place. So this is a gun you kind of have to ADS with. But uh, yeah, I I'm not a fan of what they did to this thing. And you'll, you'll see it in action. I'll probably be able to kill things fair enough and Jack overrides the ammo concerns, but, you know, we'll keep that in mind. Um, so the sad thing is, these are the only two doll red text guns. Uh, Corrosive Lock, kind of poor return, return of the Hornet, and then the Gwen's Head here, which is just an ammo waster. And that's it. So, uh, sorry, I was kind of a little more excited, and I know you guys are sick of the salt after, uh, the snipers and was looking forward to being a little happier in guns but there are some other cool pistols coming up fear not i will be excited in coming up videos but uh this one was a bit of a letdown because nothing really new and sadly neither gun is as good as the borderlands 2 variant you know at least with some of the guns that they brought back like the skull masher and stuff they did make better in this case case they uh, made them worse so let me know what you guys think of these guns and particularly these guns in this game and how they change and i will see you all later thanks for watching bye